This is part four. In part three, we were describe, describing rhomboids muscles, and now the last will be serratus anterior. Serratus anterior originates from a superior lateral surface of first eight and sometimes even nine ribs at the side of a chest, and then inserts, if you can see, costal surface of medial border along the inferior angle, of course, anterior side of the scapula. Nerve supply, serratus anterior gets from long thoracic nerve, C5, uh, 6 and 7. Now the action, Alex will show you the action, if you hold the weight, action is basically abduction and ex external rotation of the scapula, basically you punch it again, once more, again, very common, very important muscle uh, in sports such as boxing, Again, right, you see, and when he, do it, when he does this, with this, uh, glenoid cavity goes superior. And uh, now the injury, if you can go prone, I'm just going to show you something. Um, uh, sometimes, if you don't recall, in part one, we were, when we were describing the injury of trapezius, we said that a spinal accessory nerve is damaged and then you, you have uh, lateral winging. Here, if long thoracic nerve is damaged, you have condition called scapular alata, and this area here, medial border, goes out basically, you have a medial winging. So just bear in mind, medial winging is long thoracic nerve, damaged and atrophy of serratus anterior, and lateral winging, accessory spinal nerve, and damage of upper fibers of trapezius. That's it, thank you.